my dudes, what's going on? If you want a chance to get your Eidolon account reviewed, make sure to head over to twitch.tv slash griffybit, make sure to follow and look for when I go live with account reviews in the title for your chance to enter the giveaway to get reviewed and end up on one of my YouTube videos. Anyways, let's get into it. So today we're taking a look at Sayok's account. He needs help with some alchemy, what to do next, what to focus on. The account seems pretty juiced overall, so we're going to have a sort of main focus so it can help you guys of what you want to main focus on as well. So taking a look at this right away, we can already see that you uh, have pretty high base stat bubbles, which is nice to see. But what I want to see you work working on is going to be your skilling bubbles. I would say your skilling bubbles are where they need to be. I believe they're about, if I had to take a guess, they're around 75% potency. I think now it's time to start working on getting 85%, or if not 90%. Because your Warrior's Rule could be a higher multiplier by 2.8, your Hardy Diggy. Let me just get the bubbles for you here. So, for your mining specifically, your mining bubbles are going to be as follows. Warrior's Rule. Hardy Diggy. You do have the 300% multi ore, so that's good. You love to see that. You're going to have strong tools. Then after you get this to that point, you're going to do another 3D print. Carpenter wouldn't hurt to get up a little bit higher as well. You are able to atom that. I see that you have low atoms, so you do need to start building. So this is, gives you more of a reason to build up your atoms because you have a low of them to begin with. Uh, you definitely want multi orange. Multi orange is going to be huge for you. It's another multiplier bubble as well. Same with Dream of Ironfish. I feel like people sleep on Dream of Ironfish because it does give you a ton of AFK gains, not to mention it also gets multiplied. A lot of people that don't think that is actually a, uh, a bubble for upgrading is actually going to be Shimron, which gives you gold food effect for the things such as, you know, you got your, your fishing gains which is the golden ribs, and you also have the golden peanuts, which is also very, very, very potent when it comes to mining. And then you're also going to have slabby ore fish. And then slabby strength. And then that's, and then obviously end game efficiency is going to be horribly hard because of the absolute atrocious amount of those rare materials that you need. Don't really need to worry about those right now, but that's going to be specifically for strength. If you, The two things that I want you to focus on right now is you need to get your logging prints up and you need to get your mining prints up. Because as it sits right now, you're pretty much looking at 90%, but this will not really benefit you from the, from the flies because they just don't really give that much in terms of atoms. You can do it later, but first, you definitely want to focus on these two. Also, another one that people sleep on is Big P. Big P in the Yellow Cauldron is also super, super strong when it comes to just getting those extra talent points for your skill efficiency. Because if you don't know, in the first tab of your players, for specifically these ones here, these actually go up real big, like huge amounts, the more you have it higher. It doesn't, it doesn't get as diminished returns as you think. It's actually super, super goaded. Definitely something you want ASAP. So anything that adds from that, especially like stuff like Big P, is a definitely a net positive. And then going into the going into the purple cauldron for log specifically, logging is going to be put it right over here. Mage's best. Ocus Chopis. Which is obviously those are two big ones. This is the the Hardy Diggy and the Hocus Chopis is where the MP and the HP snapshot comes from. The brain tools is a good one. And oh, and since you're here, you might as well give your cooking, cooking roadkill a little bit of love. The opposite of diminishing returns, it would be a linear bubble. So it just give you the same over and over again. But this actually has sort of an increase as you level it up. So it's actually better. And if you have a hard time leveling up all your stuff, make sure to put, put talent points into like stuff like smart boy talent. Uh, that will also help you greatly as well. Another one is Severe Purple, which is going to be huge. But from where you're going right now, it seems like you're doing pretty good in your account. The one problem that you're having is, is your atoms. Your atoms, I see, are pretty brutal. Because right now, as I'm looking, you have 76, 76k atoms. So a lot of these upgrades are going to take a lot out of you. 
So I think getting working on getting these to about 85%, 85% to 90% is going to be your targeted goal when it comes to when it comes to alchemy specifically. Just because this is this is going to benefit you the most right now of where you're at because you've done basically most of the things here. And uh you're honestly doing really good overall and your alchemy seems to be, you know, nice and smooth, seems pretty pretty balanced for the most part, but now you're starting to hit into the massive diminishing returns, so now you kind of just need to hard farm specific ones at this point. And then obviously when you get down the list here, you don't have to worry about those just yet, but those are something that you're eventually going to have to focus on. So these three things going going forward, so like Mining, Warrior Rule, Hardy Diggy, Strong Tools, Multi-Orange, Dream of Iron Fish, Shimmeron, all that good stuff, that's going to be very, very good for you. Now... When it goes into the vials here, there's there you're you're missing out on a lot of vials, and there's some vials here that are going to be extremely potent. So you don't really have to worry about the the vials here. Getting them getting them to max will help. Like this one's pretty easy to do, but like see if you get more of God Shard. God Shard's total skill efficiency super fantastic. Uh, you're going to be getting things such as you know, uh, Atristica and Lager, which is uh, fishing efficiency super super positive. But I mean, other than that, I mean, you could even do Pearl Seltzer for a little bit of all stat. But I think what the main focus on is getting level, going for the early, early level 12 vials. That should be, that should be a huge thing for you. Going for early level 12 vials, start getting that vial mastery cooking up even more because that's going to make your God Shard vials more potent. That's going to make your, your mining, mining efficiency more potent. That's going to make your weapon power more potent. You know, that's also going to make, you know, your monster drop, stuff like that. At least you have 100% plus on Skinny Ocal, so that's great. Wouldn't necessarily focus too hard on your sigils right away until you start getting that insane sigil speed. I noticed that you don't have, I believe you don't have that insane sigil speed just quite yet. Uh, because you're missing out on some really, really key items here. Yeah, I, th I think, yeah, you're missing out on... Uh, should have a sigil speed here somewhere, right? You're also missing out on some big skill efficiency stuff, so definitely getting your summoning. Summoning to the skill efficiency would be ideal. And I mean, yeah, here it is. The 1.7 uh, sigil speed missing out on. Actually super strong. You want to get that ASAP Arena. And it, once, once you start getting the construction speed, it'll be good as well. So definitely start working on that. And then, I mean, your players look pretty good for the most part when it comes to talents. I mean, I don't really have anything that would be too bad whatsoever. Post office seems to be good. Marriott crate would be a little bit nice for a little bit more base efficiency. But the, the main reason why I want you to do this, let's take a look here, 3D prints. So let's see what we have here. You have a 37.4 million, a 438 million, a 1.2 billion. 26, 846 million, 200, oh yeah, okay, oh yeah, all right, this is, okay, this is, this is where things are getting wild, yep, 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 there you go, and you're also missing a ton on your empties, you have, you have empty, empties, if you can, another one, farm gems, for your last printer slots, and also, use all printer slots, this is, this is, this is, this is very important for you to do. Using all your printer slots makes it so you have more diversity for how you want to do your 3D prints. And also you got to remember is every time you have to reprint, that means you lose more of your artifact. That's what we want to stay away from is losing your artifacts as much as possible. And while you're at it, there are two other bubbles that are going to be super, super good for you are going to be Kill Per Kill Bubble and Mr. Massacre. Because you can get these down, but unfortunately, the problem is, is that you just don't have the atoms to completely have that all leveled up the way you want to. So, I mean, since you have all that max, you can have them on sigils, but honestly, you're going to be spending a lot of your time just doing uh, cranium cooking at this point. So, this is going to take you months already. A month's amount of time, so I would focus on mining first, followed by Warrior's Rule, Hardy Diggy, Strong Tools, Multi-Orange, Dream of Irefish, Shimron, Slabby Orefish, and Slabby Strength. 
do those first, get those 85 to 90%, depending on how long you want to you wanna focus those on. Get yellow P to about 85 to 90%. And then once you get to logging, Mage's Best, Hocus Choppus, LeBrain Tools, Severe Purple, Tree Sleeper, Slave Log Soul, Slave Wisdom. Those would be super, super good for you as well. Early 12, vi 12 vials, get those done as soon as possible, which is also going to be a big positive. Uh, just because you get more skill efficiency and everything, that will just help the prince even more. Get your summoning done. You got to get your summoning at least to the point for skill efficiency. Absolutely a massive thing to do. Farm gems, get your last printer slots. That's definitely something that you want to do. Like do your do your uh, your free gems. You know, do do the spike mini game, all that jazz. And then and then use all your printer slots. You're not using enough of your printer slots, which is uh, honestly a big problem because when you want to change stuff up, you're not going to be able to. And also, if you want, you can get a couple of your hourly clicks as well. And then you just want to kill per kill bubble and Mr. Massacre. This seems like a small list, and it's usually smaller than what I do, but to be completely honest, you get these things done, you take your 3D prints, you're actually going to be so juiced out of your mind. And what I would suggest when doing your prints, what you want to really focus on, is at this point, is you want to have all your characters doing skilling, and only have your Beastmaster doing monster materials for your refinery, and your V-Man for your level 13 vials. That's the only thing they should be doing. Other than that, and also when you take fishing prints, uh, you want to make sure that you have at least one copper ore there as well. Having one copper ore while you do your fishing prints will just make your life uh, 10 times easier. And that's what I would suggest for you to continue going. Do that, get that all set up. That should take you a very, very minimal amount of time and you'll be cooking there. So yeah, good luck.